Okay. Um, again, I want to welcome all of you to today's BadgerLink and Health Literacy um, Summit webinar, and I am going to turn it over to um, our, our guest from the Department of Public Instruction, Gail Murray. Gail, take it away. Sure, thank you um, for the introduction and um, and for having me here today. And can someone let me know whether or not they can see my first slide? We just saw it. I think you're up and running, Gail. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, so I am Gail Murray, the Content Management and Outreach Librarian at the Department of Public Instruction. Um, and I provide support for BadgerLink resources. I work with users and vendors to make sure that everyone in Wisconsin has access to these resources. And I also provide um, BadgerLink trainings to Wisconsin organizations, so just like this one. Um, and so you, some of you might already be familiar with BadgerLink, but if not, um, and just for a refresher, BadgerLink provides Wisconsin residents with licensed content that's not available through regular search engines. Um, so these are subscription resources that normally a school or a library or an organization would have to pay for access to, but the Department of Public Instruction, um, through a combination of state and federal funds, is able to provide statewide contracts to these resources. Um, and so what that means is that everyone in Wisconsin can access them and they don't have to pay for them directly. And this slide just kind of illustrates a few different um, a few different topics that are available in BadgerLink. Really, there's a whole lot that you can do there um, for a lot of different information needs. Um, we'll really just touch on a couple literacy resources later, um, but up there in the right-hand corner, you can find your roots with a, a whole lot of awesome genealogy resources. Um, in the lower right corner, you can find your next read with uh, Novelist, which helps you find different um, fiction books, um, live a healthier life there on the left side. We have a lot of um, health information as well. So just a whole bunch of stuff, a lot more than I'll show you today. Um, and so why should you use BadgerLink? Well, it's available online 24-7. Um, so you can't always go to your local library. You can't always um, you can't always get that information in person, but this content is always available online. It's easy to access, and I'll tell you a little bit more about access in uh, just a minute here. It's reliable, so it's not just you know random information that someone has has posted on the internet. Um, it's been published and vetted, and and in many cases peer reviewed. Um, help is available in the form of me and my team of a few other folks here at DPI. So if you are having trouble accessing or have questions about a resource, you can always just get in touch with us. Um, and again, it's no additional cost to you and your organization. Um, and so at schools and libraries, you always have access to BadgerLink resources and at home or from other connections, you might be prompted to log in with your library card. Um, so since these resources are licensed for Wisconsin residents only, our system checks your IP address to see whether or not we can tell if you're in Wisconsin. Um, and sometimes we can and sometimes we can't. Um, so if, if we can't tell and if we haven't registered that IP range as being in Wisconsin, um, you may need to log in with your Wisconsin Public Library card. Um, and just to show you what it looks like when you're prompted to log in, here I am at the BadgerLink homepage. Um, if I were to click on all resources in the upper left there, this would bring me to a list of all the resources available in BadgerLink. If I were to just go ahead and click into a resource, this is what happens um, when, if we can't tell if you're in Wisconsin. So instead of going right to the resource that you want to see, you end up in, on this page that we call our whoops page or our sad badger page. Um, and the badger does change his outfit seasonally, so spring came a little bit earlier for us this year. Um, but you can see the top button there says Wisconsin residents log in with your library card or school login. So if you were to click that, this is a drop down um, list here. You can select your library and log in with your library card number. Um, and some schools have also set up logins here. Um, the middle button says Wisconsin residents request automatic access. 
And if you click on that button, it brings up a form where you can contact us. And this form actually captures your current IP address. So we can check on our end whether or not we're able to register that location for automatic access. And so what that means is you would, you would no longer be prompted to log in with your library card. You would just get right to the resource. Um, and I know that that access piece um, is, is a little bit um, dry and also a little bit confusing. So if anyone has any questions, um, definitely let me know. I've just popped out the chat section here. So um, I'll be able to see if anyone says anything about that. Um, and otherwise, I'll go ahead and let you know about a couple literacy resources and literacy features available in, in just a couple BadgerLink resources. So again, there's there's really a whole lot to say about BadgerLink and about all the resources in it. So I'm this is a very condensed presentation. Um, so sorry if I'm moving a little quickly, but you can you can always get in touch or or ask if you have any questions along the way. Um, so first I'll show you Learning Express Library, which is this really awesome collection of a whole bunch of tutorials, practice tests, um, skill building resources uh, for, for all ages and all levels. Um, and then I'll also show you some features of EBSCO resources, including um, searching um, and sorting by Lexile range and a read aloud feature that's available through EBSCO. Um, so at this point, I'm going to go live on the BadgerLink website. I don't know if anyone cares to multitask. Certainly, you don't have to. You can just follow along. Um, but the BadgerLink URL is badgerlink.dpi.wi.gov. And I'm going to head there right now. Um, so here from the BadgerLink homepage, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see that um, you can select resources by format, subject, or audience. Um, and then this green column just is a place to go if you're looking for information about BadgerLink. Um, and if you wanna just look at a whole list of all the resources that are available, you can go ahead and click on all resources here. And like I said, the first resource I'm going to show you is Learning Express Library. Um, you can either scroll all the way down to the L's, um, click this L to jump right to the L's, or I'm actually going to adjust so that it's um, the Learning Express content provider only. Um, and then I'll scroll through here and you can see, here's the main Learning Express library link, but then there's also Adult Learning Center, Career Center, um, college Center, College Preparation Center, and, and quite a few others. Um, so if there's a very specific section you want to go to, you can absolutely do that. Or if you're not sure and just want to check them all out, I'd recommend going to the very first one. Um, and another thing that I want to show you, if you click on Read More, you can read a little bit more about what's available in the resource. That can be helpful if you're comparing. And this link that says Full Details and Training, if you go to that, that'll bring you to a page where it provides even more detail about exactly what you can find at the resource and how to use it. So in most cases, there will be um, links to training resources, um, videos, that kind of thing. Um, so that if you, if you want a more in-depth um, how-to, if I've piqued your interest in the session and you want to learn more, you can check it out there. Um, so I'm going to click to go right into Learning Express Library. And my IP is registered and I'm in Wisconsin, so I got right to the resource. And um, this is the just the landing page. And if I'm interested in searching for, let's just say, I'll search for literacy. Um, I can either search the whole library of Learning Express Library or um, specific centers. And, you know, I'm not sure what resources there are or where they might be, so I'm going to search the whole thing. And you can see I have 24 different search results that have the word literacy in them. Um, scrolling down a little bit, you can see some of them are maybe more relevant than others, and you can, you can sort and research um, as it makes sense for you. Um, this one here, um, this skills check, reading one, um, this is based on the TABE test, level 9, 10. So that's... Um, if that's something you're interested in checking out, you'll see you have to either register or log in to actually view it. 
Learning Express Library is the only resource in BadgerLink where you have to um, create an account, and that's because you can check your progress, you can you can stop a test midway through and, and check it out later, um, and that kind of thing. So it's it's really helpful to be able to save your progress and check back in on that. So I already have an account, I can just sign in here. Um, but if you register, I just wanted to let you know as well that you actually don't even need an email address to register. Um, they don't really send you anything unless you forget your password, um, but you can register without an email if you want to as well. So I'm just going to log in here, just so you can see what it looks like once you are logged in. Sorry, it's taking a minute here. Huh. I'm sorry for the delay here, let's see. Oh, here we go. We're logged in, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so now you can see this yellow launch button instead of register or log in. And so I'm just gonna click on it and show you, and this is just how the tests look. Um, there are also um, tutorials you can take, there are eBooks you can download, um, there are uh, for software skills, there are sort of interactive software tutorials, so a lot of different types of resources in Learning Express Library. Um, and you can see for this, since this is kind of a standardized test, it gives you the option of um, simulation, practice, or learner, where you can have the timer going up in the corner, um, and it can it can really mimic the, a true test environment, depending on which of these selections you choose. Um, so that's just kind of a quick glance at that. I want to also show you my center. Um, close without saving my progress on that test since I didn't get very far. Um, and here you can see all the other tests I've accessed and saved. Um, I can go back, I can see um, what is recommended for me to check out before I retake a test um, and that kind of thing. Um, so really quite a lot available here. Um, and then I'm gonna go back to the home page and show you one more thing while we're here. The Adult Learning Center. Um, there, there are quite a lot of standardized tests available in Learning Express Library, but there are also some just general skill building resources, and so the Adult Learning Center is a really great place for that. Um, they have resources for becoming a better reader, um, improving your writing, speaking and grammar, building your math skills, and, and becoming a U.S. citizen, so quite a lot of really awesome resources available there, and I'll just click into it to scroll through and give you a quick peek at that. So you can see different tutorials and, and this um, computer here instead of instead of the test icon indicates that it's more of an interactive tutorial. Um, so lots of really great stuff available in Learning Express Library. Um, and I don't see anything coming in on the chat, so now that I've showed you that very quick overview of Learning Express Library, oh, before I go out of this, I just want to show you, um, they have these really wonderful video guides as well, so if you want to check this out later on your own time and want a little bit more in-depth um, in tutorial of how to use it, you can check out their videos. Um, they did a really great job putting those together, and, and they make it really easy to use. Um, so that's Learning Express Library in a very quick nutshell. I'm going to close out of this and go back to all resources on the Badger Link homepage. And I'm going to show you an EBSCO resource called Explora for Everyone. I'm just selecting EBSCO and content providers here since that's where I want to go. Narrow down my list a little bit because it is pretty long. Um, and I'm selecting Explora for everyone to show you because as I scroll through here, you'll see some very specific databases, um, Academic Search Premier, um, Book Collection Nonfiction, lots of s smaller, more focused resources. And Explora for everyone actually includes quite a few of those. It searches across them. So um, that's why I opted to show you this one over those. So sorry if I'm making anyone dizzy with all my scrolling, but 
Um, and again, if you want to see any videos, you can click on the full details and training page. Um, check that out. We have quite a few training videos on this one, I think. Yep. Um, so again, if later you want to learn even more about it, you can. Um, I'll click to go into the resource. And I just want to show you just a couple of the many features available. Whoops, sorry. Don't know what I just did there. Um, and I'm going to do just a general search for anything, really, just to show you <clears throat> some of what's available. So Green Bay Packers, why not? Always relevant in Wisconsin, right? Um, so I do a search for Green Bay Packers, and I just want to show you um, a couple of really cool features that might be of interest to you all and the folks that you're working with. Um, I'm going to narrow it down to magazines here on the left-hand side in the source type section just because I don't think we need an academic journal about the Green Bay Packers for this example. Um, one of the cool features is that you can sort by Lexile range. Um, so I'll just select one here. Um, and I'll go into this very first article. Um, you can view it either HTML full text or PDF full text. It just depends a little bit on your preference and what you want to do with it. The PDF full text, if I click on that, looks just like the magazine. Um, it's, it's an image that it's almost just like you scanned the page. Um, if I go back and go to the HTML full text, um, this has a very cool feature uh, where you can actually have it read the article aloud to you. Um, so you can click it there, and um, this is kind of a f interesting side note, but you can select the accent as well. Um, and so we've heard a lot, especially um, from, from other educators and folks in public libraries, that, that this has been a really helpful tool um, for folks um, with uh, different reading levels or folks who maybe find it best to read along out loud as they're they're reading it. Um, let's see, just checking the chat again. Okay, and nothing has come through, so again, that's just a extremely quick overview of just a couple resources and features in BadgerLink. Um, I actually have a couple more slides that I can show you. I'm going to go back to them. Just to let you know how to get in touch with me um, and the rest of the team. You can contact us from the home page. There are contact us and ask a librarian um, buttons on the home page. Um, and from the all resources page, they're on the left hand side in the little info column. Um, we actually can send out BadgerLink bookmarks and posters to any Wisconsin organization free of charge. So if you think um, if you think you would like some bookmarks and posters for your locations, you are welcome to uh, put through a, a request from the website and we'll send them right out to you. We have lots and lots of different options. Um, we are on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and we also have a, um, a mailing list that you can get to right from the home page. There's a little envelope icon. We have two different mailing lists. One of them gives you news and updates about BadgerLink, and the other one is um, specifically reminders about training opportunities. Um, we often host webinars that are open to just anyone in the general public, so um, you might be interested in that. And like I said before, help is available. We have a toll-free in Wisconsin number that is available there. Um, you can always get in touch with any member of the team through the contact us form. Um, and if you want to get in touch with me specifically uh, for training or information about how to use resources, I've got my email address there. And I put my colleague Kara's email address there because she also does trainings. Um, and, and you can always get in touch with us there. And again, I know I gave you an extremely quick uh, overview, so I wouldn't be surprised if there were lots of questions or if we got quite a few emails later. Um, but I hope that that was helpful and that, um, and that you, you know, can use these resources or pass the word along if, if you know of other people.